Welcome to Off-Grid Victory. So yes, this is my uh, TSC trailer, very highly modified to carry all sorts of goodness, but it's carrying something very special today. So what is it carrying? Well, this guy right here. And what is that thing? Um, it is leather, cowhide, right? So we recently butchered an animal, uh, actually just several days ago, and uh, it was really cold when we did it but it's you know it's getting warmer spring is uh, here almost any time and so i wanted to get started on this new project and uh, this particular animal was really 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 nice i mean the hair on it you know it hasn't it hadn't had time to kind of lose all of that winter fur the really nice fur and so this animal um, we caught it just in time and so I wanted to save the hairs on it so I'm not doing kind of the uh, the wood ash lie and letting that um, uh, I forget if it's uh, potassium hydroxide that's formed on it but the lie itself take the hairs out I'm trying to save the hair so right now I've gotten so far uh, I've salted it down um, obviously I tried to uh, get all of the fat and uh, the muscles and the meat off this uh, uh, skin early on uh, partly through the butchering process but even afterwards and and this uh, particular skin was was washed uh, with a super, super mild, mild soap, um, Dr. Bronner soap, very little bit. And it was just to get the mud and the junk off the hair. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even washed it. But at any rate, I washed it. Um, now, this particular trailer, as you can see, it's pretty much taking up the entirety of the trailer. And... Um, yeah, it's not the greatest thing to stretch out the leather skin and, and try to get it flat for a rug or something like that. But my intention on this is to try to get it as supple as possible. So I am going to break the fibers in after I'm done with all of this. Uh, you know, the next stage with the, um, with the fat and the oil. So I'm going to just use egg, egg yolks and probably olive oil to try to soften it up and then break the fibers as I go and to get something supple. But uh, what I am trying to do is to preserve the hairs. And so, yeah, after that, all of that, I'll smoke it, blah, 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 and try to show you what this fur looks like. But once again, it was a really pretty animal. And um, on our homestead, we really try not to waste anything. And in this particular case, uh, years ago, when I butchered a, another cow, I just threw away the hide and I really felt guilty about it. But in this particular case, this, this animal was so nice looking, I just really couldn't, uh, uh, couldn't just let it go down the, I was going to say toilet, but we don't really have that either, <laughs> uh, go down the, uh, or burn it, you know, or go into a hole and just bury it, right? So I really wanted to save this one. So here's the hide so far, and as you can see, it's drying out pretty well. Uh, there's not a lot of flies on it, surprisingly. So I guess it's uh, it's getting kind of, um, you know, tough. And, uh, and of course, the salt helps too. But you can see there's ridges and things like that from not drying uh, properly and curing properly uh, because it's not stretched out. But once again, I'll, I'll work the hide afterwards, so I don't really mind it. Uh, my main goal at this point is to dry it out as much as possible and then use um, the uh, the egg white uh, oil mixture to kind of start softening it. And then, of course, I'll smoke it to try to really preserve it. But at any rate, yeah, that's my next little uh, project here on the homestead. Alrighty.